why did the the sodium acetate come apart and go into the water? Why didn't it just sink to the bottom and be happy? What made it want to go apart? Or what made the water want to sacrifice its energy to do this work? The reason the sodium acetate dissolved is due to a thermodynamic property called entropy, which means that if you have an ordered system, like a crystal, where the ions are in a very regular order, that ordered systems tend to have a driving force to make them more random. And so the ions swimming around in solution are far more random than an ordered crystal. So the entropy is a very important factor in getting this to dissolve. This is thermodynamics. And on our 60 Symbols channel, you can see there's a really good video on entropy if you want to go into it deeper. So it's happier in that state. When we gave it a crystal, we gave it a seed, we gave it nucleation, and it said, OK, let's go back to crystals. Why did it want to do that? That seems to go against the entropy. Well, the entropy effect is very temperature dependent. So the amount that you can dissolve varies with temperature. And when you heat it up to high temperature, to boiling point of water, then all the sodium acetate in the hand warmer will dissolve. And so the ions and the water, if you like, are in equilibrium. It doesn't want to crystallize. But as soon as you cool it down, then there is a driving force to make part of the sodium acetate go back to crystals. And the colder you go, the more sodium acetate that will come out of solution. But because of the need for the nucleation, it can't come out. So it's not in equilibrium. And then when you put in the nucleating center, sort of fire the starting gun, suddenly it goes to the situation of equilibrium. Just before we nucleated, just before we yeah. fired the starting gun, where was that energy being stored? All that energy that was about to be released, where was it? The energy is stored in these separated ions. So you can imagine they're all sitting here, and then when you release it, they clack back together. So it was like potential almost. It's, it's potential energy. You put in work to pull it apart, and you get it back again when they go together. I'm going to show Professor Polyakov today. Well, this is probably one of the most famous papers we have in the collection. This is Thomas Young's Bakerian lecture on the theory of light and colours. Uh, this is Young challenging Sir Isaac Newton, good Lord. 